good morning children welcome to digital lessons now in this session we will learn about coal and petroleum children how do you go to your school now dear children for all these transport areas we will use the bikes scooters cars buses trains aeroplanes ships boats for all them we require fuels normally we will use coal or petroleum to run them even to cook food at our home also nowadays we are using lpg cylinders and also cng gas connections today we will deal with coal and petroleum including natural gas these are fossil fuels now let us learn what are fossil fuels now the fossil fuels are nothing but they are derived from the earth crust from the fossils of the dead organisms fossil fuels are formed from the buried remains of decayed plants and animals over millions of years under the influence of heat and pressure in the absence of air children how fossil fuels are formed fossil fuels are formed by the decay matter of dead vegetation it is nothing but flora and animal matter it is nothing but fauna under the earth crust now the sedimentation of them keeps on going on for several millions of years in that way the pressure for them increases under the earth crust due to the heat and pressure slowly they will be turned into coal or petroleum these are nothing but fossil fuels examples coal petroleum and natural gas now you see it is coal petrol natural gas now coal coal is not versatile as petroleum but it is very useful coal and petroleum are very versatile why they are very versatile because by using coal and petroleum we can get many many products now these are the basic units for many more materials we can synthesize in our laboratory as well as industry therefore they are called versatile resources now when coal is heated in air it burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide gas now when coal is heated what do you get by heating coal we get heat and light not only that we will get some gas out of it it is nothing but carbon dioxide gas now what happens whenever coal burnt in the absence of air we will get some substances when we processed in industry coal in the absence of air we won't get carbon dioxide gas here but we will get some materials such as coke and coal tar and coal gas now coal is processed in industry to get some useful products such as coke coal tar and coal gas now look at this picture children first one is coal it is a black colored substance hard substance whenever it is processed in industry we will get coke it is 100% carbon coke is a tough porous black substance it is almost a pure form of carbon we will have less impurities in the coke when compared to the coal coal is very very hard but coke is also somewhat very hard but when compared to coal its hardness is somewhat little now coke is used in the manufacture of steel in the extraction of many metals look at this picture now it is manufacturing of steel coke is used to heat those metals we get a tremendous amount of heat whenever coke is burnt another substance coal tar children you might have noticed this coal tar where do you have seen this one yes you have seen while making metallic roads yes coal tar is used for the preparation of metallic roads now this coal tar is a black colored liquid 
with unpleasant smell, very bad smell. Coal tar. Coal tar is a mixture of about 200 substances and products obtained from the coal tar are used as the starting material for manufacture of various substances. It is used for the preparation of various synthetic substances. In that way, coal tar is very, very important useful product from the obtained from coal. Some important items we will discuss, those are synthetic dyes, these are nothing but color imparting agents. Drugs, these are used in the preparation of medicines also. Explosives such as TNT and bombs, we can use this coal tar. Perfumes, in preparation of plastic items, in the preparation of paints, roofing materials. All these products are nothing but coal tar products only. Now, children, nowadays this coal tar is replaced with another petroleum product called bitumen that is used for the preparation of making metallic roads. Now, it is the bitumen by using that metallic road is prepared by the R and B persons. Now, do you know naphthalene balls used to repel moths? Other insects are also obtained from coal tar. Children, where do you use these naphthalene balls? As we will keep in our cupboards for cloths and our for the safety of our books, so that no insects can eat them, they will not be spoiled. These are also the products of coal tar. Now, another important product of coal is coal gas. Now, coal gas is obtained during the process of coal to get coke. While making coke only, we will get coal gas. We will see in the form of small experiment after some time. Now, it is the coal gas which is coming out of the industries in the burning of coal, especially in thermal power stations, where we will burn much coal to get electricity. Now, it is used as a fuel in many industries situated near the coal processing unit. It is a processing unit, iron and steel industry, it is situated near coal only. This gas is used to melt the iron. Now, children, do you know this coal gas is used for street lightening also in London and USA? This coal gas is used for lightning purpose also in years in the 18th century. Now, the persons are lighting with the help of coal gas. Nowadays, coal gas is used as a source of heat rather than light. Now, children look at this one. Now, here in the middle we are having coal. Whenever this coal is processed in industry, we are getting that means destructive distillation, heating the coal in the absence of air. In that process, we are getting three materials we learnt so far, coke, coal tar and coal gas. What is the use of coke? It is used in the manufacture of iron and steel industry in the extraction of metals. Now, what is the use of coal gas? It is a fuel gas used for lightning and heating. Now, we already discussed children the uses of coal tar. There are about 200 substances we can produce by using this coal tar. It is used in making roads and preparation of synthetic dyes, pesticides, medicines, explosives, paints, fibers, photographic plates, synthetic fibers and roofing materials and also coal tar is a unpleasant liquid, but we will get a present smell by you deriving perfumes, we can derive from coal tar itself and we can also produce naphthalene balls by using this coal tar. Now, children look at this table, here you need to write the uses of coal and its products. What are the uses of coke? What are the uses of coal tar? What are the uses of coal gas? You fill this table, it is a small homework for you. Now, what happens? when coal is burnt in the presence of air. Now, children, when coal is heated in the presence of air, we will get heat and light with and also carbon dioxide gas. Now, children, 
what happens when coal is burnt in the absence of air we will get three substances coal tar coal gas and co coke how we can produce them in the laboratory now we will see in the form of a small activity now what is the aim of this activity to show that when we heat high quality coal the evolved gas burns we don't know some gas comes out of the coal what gas we will find it later on now first what we will you do in this experiment setup we will take two boiling tubes in first boiling tube we will take coal and we will fit rubber cork to it and we will take a u tube and with the help of delivery tube another boiling tube we will find out how to get these substances by using coal here is a small experimental setup now in this experimental setup we will heat coal first and by heating coal we will get one gas in the beginning we don't know what is that gas but later on we will find out that this gas is having the capacity that it can catch up fire now what is that gas what is this experiment now we will see now the materials required for this experiments are two boiling tubes rubber cork iron stand delivery tube which is a u tube and a jet tube and a bunsen burner now look at the experimental setup children now here we are taken two boiling tubes and we fitted them with rubber corks and we attached a delivery tube from the first boiling tube to second boiling tube in the first boiling tube we have taken coal powdered because powdered form of coal can be heated very quickly rather than lump in the second boiling tube it is filled with water now we are heating with the help of bunsen burner now when heating this coal we will get a gas this color of the gas will be brownish black color now it will come along with the delivery tube and fall into this water and some liquid will be dissolved in this water and gas which comes out through in the form of jet tube in the form of a jet stream now when you lit a matchstick near to it it catches fire now this gas is nothing but coal tar the sub the gas which is coming through the delivery tube and it is dissolving in this water now at the bottom of this water we will find coal tar now we notice that a brownish black vapors evolved in the first boiling tube these vapors are passed through the water into the second boiling tube colorless gas bubbles evolve from the water if we burn the gas that is evolving through the jet tube we can witness a bright flame at the nozzle now look at here it is a small experimental setup children once again we can also perform the experiment like this also take two boiling tubes and heat the coal powder with the rubber corks you are attached and a delivery tube is into the another boiling tube now what is happening the gas which is coming out it is coal gas the liquid which is dissolving in water it is nothing but coal tar in this way we can also prepare coal gas and coal tar in the laboratory now children how do we cook the food at our homes in olden days we used to cook food by using wood we are getting charcoal out of wood now later on after the discovery of coal some people used coal to cook food also in those bells but nowadays we are using lpg cylinders these are nothing but petroleum products and also in some villages we are using cng gases now this cng gas is nothing but compact natural gas it is a 100% clean fuel we won't get any pollution by using cng and how do we get this cng now the cng is dug from the surface of the earth how before getting the petroleum we will get natural gas and after that we will have the deposits of petroleum in krishna godavari basin 
in recent years there was a large reserves of this natural gas there. Now, natural gas is an important domestic and industrial fuel. Now, we can use for cooking as well as we can supply this natural gas to industries especially iron and steel industries where much heat is required rather than their burning coal we can use natural gas thereby we can reduce the pollution in the atmosphere. Now, natural gas is also used in manufacture of fertilizers. Now, you can see it is a fertilizer industry there we can we are using these pipes you are seeing here natural gas we are supplying and by that we are producing heat with the help we are getting fertilizers which can we use them in fields. Now, the useful substances which are obtained from petroleum and natural gas are called petrochemicals. Now, these are used in the manufacture of detergents, synthetic fibers such as polyester, nylon, acrylic and polythene etcetera. Now, all these synthetic fibers are nothing but petroleum products itself. Now, due to great commercial importance, petroleum is also called as liquid gold due to its commercial importance. Now, uses of petrochemicals in agriculture sector, plastic tubes, baskets, storing box, cultivation implements, fertilizers. Now, in industrial sector, cars, motor boats, communication devices, construction materials, in paper industry, belt and straps, all these devices are made by using petroleum products itself and also some domestic uses are also there for this petroleum product. Now, let us discuss the domestic uses. Now, in domestic sector, it is used to make medical equipments, apparel and like cloths, bedding, socks, furniture, paints, washing liquids, fiber, cosmetics, medicines and polishing liquids. Children, you have learnt about the uses of petroleum products both industrially and also agriculture purposes and also for domestic purposes. Without nowadays we are getting furniture. In olden days we used to prepare with the help of wood and iron, but nowadays all are plastic items. Even if we go for bathing also our buckets and mugs which we are using made up of plastic all synthetic items. These are all nothing but petroleum products. By using these petroleum products, we can make wide variety of materials. Therefore, petroleum is used as a starting material for various articles. Therefore, it is very versatile. Now, can coal, petroleum and natural gas prepared in the laboratory from dead organisms? No, we cannot prepare petroleum and coal in the laboratory. Why? Because already we discussed they are fossil fuels, they are prepared from the dead materials of plants and animals. Now, children let us learn the formation of coal and petroleum. Now, formation of coal, the plants in the large and dense forest low lying wetlands got buried under the soil due to natural process like floods and earthquakes. Now, the earth is filled with beautiful flora and fauna. We have large forests and large aquatic life. When they die, this plant vegetation, this debris will be deposited into the earth crust. Slowly and slowly, the sedimentation will be done and layer by layer, they will go into the earth. Now, due to high pressure and heat, developed from the surface to the low levels, the slow formation of this dead materials will be converted into coal. Now, we will see that process. Heat is the picture of 300 million years ago, there was a plantation on the surface of the earth. Now, as more soil deposited over them, the organic matter was compressed and the temperature also roses. Now, here dead plants are going down and dirt is settling on up. Now, here first what happens peat formation takes place 
and after that uh, within that peat formation some top layers of soil will come and again sedimentation will be done here whenever sediments are increasing from top pressure will be increased. Now, the organic matter sank deeper and deeper under high pressure and high temperature these dead plants slowly converted into the coal. Now, here you see slowly it is converted into coal we can have better images now here you see peat formation took place and after that due to pressure from the top surfaces it is converted into a low variety of coal called lignite after that bituminous coal after that anthracite coal which is the 100 percent quality coal which is the best coal here it is the anthracite coal now you see it is the lignite deposit it is the bituminous coal it is the anthracite coal. Now, there are three varieties of coal for us they are lignite, bituminous and anthracite. Out of them lignite is the least quality of coal and anthracite is the highest quality of coal it is having 100 percent carbon. Now, as coal contains mainly carbon the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. Since coal was formed from the remains of vegetation, it is called fossil fuel. Now, this process of formation of coal is nothing but carbonization and it is obtained from the dead materials or fossils. Therefore, it is called as a fossil fuel. In the similar way, we will get petroleum. Whenever the dead bodies of organisms which are settling down not only the forest, but also we are having large oceans under that small bodies called planktons. These are small animals, organisms when they decay in the into the surface of the ocean they will form organic matter that will be converted into petroleum formation of petroleum. Petroleum was formed from the remains of tiny organisms called plankton that were found in the bottom of the seas and oceans planktons have tiny droplets of oil inside their bodies. Now, this is the picture of planktons. Now, as these organisms die their bodies settle at the bottom of the sea or ocean covered with layers of sand and clay. Now, after covering their dead bodies will look like this they will decompose there. Now, over the millions of years due to the absence of air under high temperature and high pressure these dead organisms transformed into petroleum and natural gas. Now, here we are getting the petroleum we will have a better image now. Now, it is the ocean oceans the marine organisms along with this planktons they will die and settle in the ocean bottom floor as the sediments are increasing on the surface of the ocean slowly under the effect of heat and pressure that will be deposited in between two permeable rocks. Now, here gas is trapped and oil is there at the bottom of the gas. Now, it is the formation of natural gas and petroleum. Now, children we will have a small video about this formation of coal. Now, children at the beginning this earth is covered with many many forests and in this forest we are having beautiful flora and fauna you can see the trees and also small animals. Not only small animals from small animals to bigger animals also we will find in the forest. Now, these are the dinosaurs. Now, they used to survive over millions of years ago. Now, you see meteorites are hitting the surface of the earth. Now, with that our all forests are destroyed and they burnt and that dead matter settled into the earth crust. Now, you can see lava eruptions, volcano eruptions and those also killed many organisms and forests and they got buried under the surface of the earth. Now, slowly these sediments are buried under the earth slowly sediments by sediments they are depositing on the surface by that pressure on the surface of the earth is increasing. Now, this fossil material 
which was buried under the earth gets converted into slowly coal formation occurs. This takes several millions of years. Now, you see pressure is increasing and that dead vegetation is converted like a coal. Now, pressure is increasing due to the surface settlements. Now, children so far we have seen a beautiful video about the formation of coal. Petroleum is also formed under the surface of earth with the dead bodies of animals under the ocean crust. Coal consists of mainly petroleum consists of a mixture of compounds called hydrocarbons that means they are the derivatives of carbon and hydrogen. Now, carbon is very versatile and the basis for most of the materials. Therefore, coal and petroleum are very important starting materials for synthesis of variety of compounds. Now, do you know? Our country has enormous non-conventional gas resources like coal bed, methane gas and gas hydrates. Why does the price of petrol go up all the time? Now, children, we are increasing usage of petroleum day by day. Now, its supplies are very, very limited. It is available only in few countries, especially Gulf countries. There, we are getting the coal and petroleum and with that the price is increasing day by day. There are two methods. First, we should reduce the usage of petroleum or otherwise we have to start consumption on usage of petroleum. Anyhow, first method is not applicable for us, but we have to reduce the usage of petroleum in order to save petroleum for longer years. So, we can go for a walk instead of using petrol by that we can save a liter of petrol. Now, children instead of using washing machines we can use our sunlight by that we can conserve our energy and also we can use bicycles to go for vegetables and for shorter distances. Instead of going on many vehicles we can use community transport such as buses and share autos in order to save petroleum and coal gas. We can also use metro rails for that purpose and also what are the harmful effects caused during the use of fuels. Now, these fuels are used we are getting fuels whenever they struck up under oceans they are creating much disturbance in ocean in the form of oil slips and oil slicks just you observe these pictures here they are polluting the water atmosphere and many aquatic life is destroyed there and you can see the animals here they are destroyed and they will die due to this oil spills into the oceans. Now, burning of these fuels will get lot of carbon dioxide gas and greenhouse gases therefore, we should use the reduction of them. Now, many paints are also made up of petroleum they are very toxic and also toxic producer they will produce lungs to damage to our lungs and nausea and create dizziness. We have learnt about the coal and petroleum and their uses and how they are formed in the earth crust and also how to reduce the usage of petroleum and coal and how what are the harmful effects of petroleum and coal. Now, children let us meet in the next session to learn more things. Thank you. पिंग पॉन्ग टेबल टेनिस में अपने अनोखे अंदाज और शानदार खेल से निखत बानू ने अपनी एक अलग पहचान बनाई निखत बानू ने टेबल टेनिस का आगाज बचपन में किया और कम वक्त में एक स्टार टेबल टेनिस खिलाड़ी बन गई निखत ने नेशनल और इंटरनेशनल लेवल पर हिंदुस्तान